day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to repair this ancient laptop. And we're going to make it run, uh, well, I wouldn't call it like new, uh, because it's going to run a lot better than new. This is an MSI PE70, which is similar to the 60, and it's part of the Prestige series that MSI launched in 20, uh, 2015. And what's wrong with it is this, when we power it up, Preparing automatic repair, and what that means in this case is the hard drive has a problem, the operating system is kind of toast. Now, it's probably repairable, but this thing's so old we can easily upgrade it for literally just a few dozen dollars. We can make this thing hum. So we can even get Windows 11 running on it if that's, what you want, if that's what you want to do. And because this machine does not support Windows 11 because it doesn't have a TPM, a trusted platform module. So if you want to put Windows 11 on it, we'll show you how to do that. We flip it over and to save time, we have already taken the screws out of this. You need to take every screw out. There's a lot of them. Look, you can do this, okay? So you don't need to hire somebody to do this. This is something you can do yourself. And uh, I've got my daughter here, right there. Say hi, Daly. Hello. And uh, she's quite technical. She's played with this stuff for years, but the point here is you don't have to be. Do you want to explain how to pull the DVD out daily? Yeah, so the DVD, you just uh, make sure you take a, a Phillips number one screwdriver, just a regular one. Make sure you unscrew this screw. And then here you can see there's just a little bit of a slot there. So what you do is you take a paper clip, just unfold that till you've got a little arm there. And then you fold that in, push it, and... You can't damage it. There you go. Click. And out it comes. That out. See? There you go. Out it goes. Now see that screw matched up there. So this is the, the catch that you can see it warranty sticker here. Warranty is voided if you go through it, but it's just a sticker. So you just take it, push it through it and unscrew that little screw out of there. That's the one that's easy to miss. Then what you do is you need to pry the back off and you can just lift it up here. If you have problems, take a credit card and you just slide it around. Now we've already had this off, so this is easy for us, but you might hear it go click, 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 click. And you'll also notice over here that the audio jacks are there. So you've really got to sort of pry it. So let's just get this, see this, watch. There it is, right? Just got to pry it off. And if you're pulling this off and it won't come off at the back, that's because you haven't taken that special screw out. By the way, it's not special, it's just sealed. So you just break the seal and off you go. Let's go over the parts very quickly. There's your speakers, and you can see they're pretty high-end speakers. Uh, it's a set of four, which is very nice. Memory, which is easy to change, just pop that. If you want to get uh, add more memory, just pop that out. Goes in on a 30 degree angle, easy to do. There's your hard drive. That's your Wi-Fi. It's got two antennas coming off of it, these wires. One of them goes under the keyboard, one of them goes behind the screen. Then you've got these big copper pipes. Those are heat pipes. So under here is the CPU and also the GPU, the video. This particular unit contains an NVIDIA GeForce video card and that's probably under here. And so all of this collects the heat, sends it to these pipes, and then these pipes go out the side. There's your battery. If your battery's dead, easy enough to change. One screw, two screw, three screws. Two of them are already out because we took the back off. So it's that screw and you're on your way. And a lot of people wonder what that is. That is a little CR2032 battery. That is in everything from your key fobs to tea lights and things. And all it is is a very flat battery. It keeps energy going to the motherboard so that it can keep its firmware settings. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. The point is it's important. And if you're powering your machine up and it says it lost its settings, that's the thing to change. And it's super easy. Uh, but in our case, all we want to do is change this drive. It is corrupt in some way, the operating system, and we just want to change it out. But you can see here, this has an M.2 PCIe slot, and hopefully it will accept a hard drive. This is a 2242, so 22 millimeters by 42. Normally, uh, hard drives, at least in, especially in a little bit older units, are 2280s. 22 millimeters wide, 80 long, and they'll bolt down on that pin. So if this one goes in, we're not sure how we're going to secure it because we don't have a bracket for this. But we can buy a bracket off Amazon, hold this in. We'll look at that after. But right now, we just want to make sure that this is going to work as a hard drive. Daly, can you just pop that screw out? Absolutely. Yeah. If you drop the screw in there, don't panic. Make sure you get it out, though. Take the unit, flip it upside down, and tap it gently until it comes out. Pull it okay. There you go. Add That's it. it. See? Perfect. So now we can take this... Uh, casing off, which is just one, two screw. Yeah, just a couple of screws. And we can replace it with the same drive, which we actually happen to have here. Well, a replacement. But again, we don't want a spinning drive. And we don't want to use a SATA connected SSD when we could use this M.2 PCIe NVMe. That's a whole lot of acronyms. Put the case back on. 
so we don't have anything touch. And then we'll flip it upside down. And let's just see if the BIOS can even see this as a hard drive. We're going to press power. And to get into the BIOS here, you just press delete a million times. And there it is. And what we want to do is go down to system storage or system informa storage information, press enter. And we see it right there, PCIe, right there, Kingston, 256 gig, yes! So we can use that drive, awesome. And that is gonna make this machine run literally multiple times better than it ran when it was new. And we're also gonna run Windows 11, which is gonna be a great thing for this. All right, so what we have to do is to install Windows 10 on that empty drive, and then we'll upgrade it to Windows 11 and using a very simple method uh, to get around the limitations. Uh, because Windows 10 is supported on that laptop, Windows 11 is not. What's wrong with it is that particular model does not have a trusted platform module and the CPU is too old. So while it works just fine, Microsoft has not tested it and validated it, but lots of other people have. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it. It will run beautifully, but it is not officially supported. So you have a choice, which is to keep running Windows 10 until October 2025, when Windows 10 goes completely out of support and then you're kind of toast or you run Windows 11 through the slight back door we're going to show you. So what we need first is Windows 10, as I said, get yourself a USB stick, plug it in your computer, search for Windows 10 media creation tool. And it's often the first link on Google and ignore these. Scroll down to create installation media, select download, open, Anyway, from here, it's pretty much click next. We're going to go through it very quickly just so we don't waste your time. Create. That's fine. Use the USB drive. Okay, we've got our Windows 10 stick. Let's go back and get Windows 11 so we don't have to come back to the computer. Let's go to Windows 11, Media Creation Tool, Download, same deal. Create the Windows Installation Media. It's exactly the same tool other than it's doing Windows 11. We're not going to waste your time showing you it. Just plug a different USB stick in. In our case, we have Windows 10 on a white one and Windows 11 on a black one. All right, so first we're going to put the USB with Windows 10 in and power it up here. And then you click that F11. Make sure you're getting into the boot menu. All right, and there we go. Boot Manager, USB flash disk. So we're going to use these arrows. Enter, get into that. And from here, it's pretty much click next. So we're not going to waste your time with it other than we'll let you see it, but we're not going to talk too much through it. Windows 10 is dots, Windows 11 is solid. So we can definitely tell that's Windows 10. Now in your case, you will probably won't have this. You will have a fresh drive and it'll take you right to the next screen. In our case, because it's an old drive, we have to strip everything off of it. But you don't have to, you probably won't have to do that. Okay, so here we are with Windows 10, and if we right click on the start button and go to device manager, you'll notice there's a number of things that are not installed yet. So we should go to Windows Update, which is Start, Settings, Windows Update. Yes, we're going through this quickly, by the way, because I don't want to waste your time. Click Check for Updates. And the big thing here is to go down to Advanced Options and select Receive Updates for things that are not just for Microsoft Windows, and then go back and select view optional updates. And there's probably a pile of drivers in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Select every last one of them. Let it run, reboot. All right, so off camera, we tried to run the Windows 11 install and it didn't work. And the reason it didn't work was because the BIOS was too old. We needed to upgrade the firmware on this laptop. So how do you do that? Well, with most laptops, most devices, you just go to the website and off you go. But in this case, what you need to do is get to Google and search for your specific model. So MSI drivers. And fortunately it comes up as the first query, but you can see the 60 was there as well. And there's the BIOS. So you download it and you put it on a USB stick, but you have to unzip it first. So take your USB stick, plug it in, unzip your file. I just right click and extract. It's the easiest way to do it. Send to a USB stick. Now we could just copy paste it, but I like send to. And then what you do is power down the machine and go into the BIOS. So I'm just gonna right click, shut down, restart. Okay, it's going down. So now I'm pressing delete. Go over to advance using the arrow keys on your keyboard. 
we're down to UEFI BIOS update, BIOS update. And it'll say, well, wh where do you get the file from? Well, in my case, it's right on the USB right here. And that's probably where yours is as well. Click on it. And then, well, what file? And it's that one. So you press enter and it runs through the BIOS update automatically. I've already done this, so my BIOS is now 2018. It was 2016 before. So we have our Windows 11 USB stick. And what we have to do is pop that into the USB port and then just bring up a command line. And uh, how do you do that? Click start, type CMD, right click on it and select run as administrator. Select yes. And then we have to change onto that USB stick, E drive. Nope, let's find out what it is. I guessed and got it wrong. Oh, it's D. Okay, so let's go to D. And then we have to change into the sources directory. And here we're looking for setup prep. Now what you want to do is just type setup and then press the tab key and it'll keep finding the things that match setup for you. There, setup prep, space slash product, server. And you might think, I don't want to install Windows Server. Yeah, it's not going to. What that's going to do is skip all of the hardware checks so it's going to get around the fact that this unit does not have a trusted platform module and that the CPU is older than what it needs to be. Yes, yeah, see it says Windows Server. It's not going to install that. So click Next. We're on our way. So in our case, this is a fresh machine. So we're going to select Keep Nothing. We're just going to wipe this out again. And there we go, Windows 11 on your old MSI Prestige PE series. A couple of things we'd like to do first, right click on the start button, look at uh, device manager. Notice that there's a bunch of stuff that still has, yeah, it's uninstalled. So that means you've got to go to Windows Update and get the updates. So click settings, just like we did in Windows 10. Go to Windows Update, download and install. Go to advanced options, turn on receive other updates and also go to optional updates and get everything that doesn't have the word preview in it. I also like to right click on the start bar, click taskbar settings and I turn off all of the junk. I like it to look like Windows 10. Turn off the taskbar view, turn that off, go down to taskbar behaviors, set it to the left and I also like to turn off combine. Back to Windows update. Windows 11 24H2. All right, hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.